My name is Aoyan Tepuy. His name is Autana Tepuy. Our catching names are very unique, a little bit hard to pronounce, but uh, we, we really like them. I'm originally from Venezuela. Uh, my catching name means Devil Mountain. Aoyan Tepuy is uh, one of the tallest Tepuy in the, in the Guyana, in the park, is where the angel phones come from. I always love the name, I always love that place. It's a place that is beautiful, that uh, I wish one day I can actually just go all the way to the top and sit around with the where the falls are born. Uh, it took me a couple of months to actually decide which would be his catching name. You know, I wanted something unique, and his catching name ended up being Autana Tepui. Uh, his Tepui means a tree of life. For me, he was a new life, so I decided to give him that name because I want to see him grow, and he's my tree of life. I'm a hiker, I like the adventure, but with geocaching, it's more like having a hiking with a purpose. You know, it's, it's something that, that I really enjoy. Because now, just besides having the thrill of being in nature, I have, a, I have a destination, you know, a goal in mind. And all about the journey to the catch, because catching is about taking you to places. I mean, this, believe it or not, is in the middle of Miami-Dade County in Florida. Everything around it, just houses, like, all around, and we're here in the middle of the forest. Uh, pretty much I started geocaching with him when he was about one and a half years old. He's four now. Uh, he always enjoyed it. He likes the swamp hikes. He likes to be in the water up to his neck because he's very little. He loves to play in the mud. And he likes the adventure as well. You know, he has fun. I believe that geocaching is mostly about them. It's just, it creates a nice bond between the both of us. Whenever we're in the woods, I see him playing around, running. He reminds me of me when I was his age, you know, doing all the, all the cool stuff that, that pretty much my grandfather took me to do. And it brings me, it brings me nice memories. And we become a team, you know, we become, you know, we help out each other. We, you know, if we get stuck on the mud, he takes me out. If he loses his shoe, I make sure that he gets it back. And we also like to go out a lot with our dog, you know, we pretty much take her, take her everywhere. But my experience with him is the best that I can have because geocaching wouldn't be the same if I wouldn't go out with him. You know, he's a tough kid. I can, we can walk five miles and he'll be okay. We can be under the sun and he'll be fine. You know, he can see gators and he's not afraid. He's always excited about seeing new things around the trail. And that's pretty much what I think that geocaching should be about. You know, it's, it's nice to find catches around the city, but the whole point of this is to know your places, you know, no hidden places that other people can, can uh, show you by just giving you coordinates and a container at the end of those coordinates. What I hope to teach him to geocaching is pretty much the same thing, uh, same thing that I know, how to love Mother Nature, you know, to have a sense of adventure, you know, he's, uh, he's a very unique kid. I feel like uh, pretty much my genes went to him because he loved being outdoors. Every time he seen he was tiny, he, you know, his first steps were on the grass. He loved to do that, so I hope to teach him how to take care of this planet. Uh, I hope for him to be the generation that actually, you know, helps out more than what we have done already. Um, I want him to be conscious about how beautiful this is, you know, all the wonderful stuff that we have here. That a swamp is not a bad place, that a forest is an awesome place, that it's nothing to be afraid. To see that there's more to where we live than just a concrete jungle. To see that trees are wonderful, that this whole area is something different.